My name is Theo de Witte. I'm an academic hematologist working in the research departments of tumor immunology and hematology at the Radboud University Medical Center in Nijmegen, the Netherlands. I'm the coordinator of the European MDS registry and the European Leukemia Net MDS working party. The European School of Hematology, the ESH, has organized a very interesting and well attended educational e-meeting of new developments in MDS on April 7th to 10th, 2022. The important diagnostic and prognostic contribution by the new molecular MDS-specific mutations has been presented perfectly well by Elsa Benar and discussed extensively during this meeting. But today, I will focus on the contribution of the new MDS-specific molecular data on the uh, definition of the various pre-stages of MDS and MPN, myeloproliferative disorders. The EU MDS registry focused initially on lower-risk MDS. We noticed that most of these patients died from causes not directly related to the impaired hematopoiesis. Patients without increase of bone marrow blast, without profound dysplastic features and cytogenetic characteristics, were often difficult to classify. In addition, we noticed in the MDS Riot project related to the EU MDS registry that considerable number of persons older than 60 years in the normal population had mon molecular genetic mutations specific for MDS. These mutations were more frequent in anemic persons compared not to non-anemic age-matched individuals, as published by Isabella van Zeventer in Blood 2020. Torsten Havelach, Klaus Metzler and Luca Malcovati focused in their presentations in the session of April 7th on individuals with the various pre-stages of MDS. ICUS, idiopathic cytopenia of unknown significance, is a typical example of these pre-stages of MDS. These patients are characterized by anemia without evidence of clonal hematopoiesis. In contrast, patients diagnosed with seekers have clonal cytopenias of unknown significance without diagnostic characteristics specific for MDS, despite their cytopenia. Patients without cytopenias, but with clonal aberrations specific for MDS are classified as CHIP, clonal hematopoiesis of indeterminate potential. The clonal cluster in persons with CHIP is usually restricted to a limit, limited number of genes, the so-called DTA genes, DMT3A, TAT2, and ASLX1. The, the incidence of CHIP is higher at older age. Clonal hematopoiesis with a clone size of greater than 1% occurs in around 30% of the individuals at the age of 70 years or higher. CHIP with a clonal size of 2% or higher is associated with cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes mellitus, rheumatoid arthritis, and other inflammatory disorders characterized by high CRP levels very similar to low-risk MDS. However, the risk of developing overt MDS or AML is very low in these patients. Patients with seekers usually show a chip-like clonal profile, including DTA genes, but additional clonal aberrations are associated in these patients with a higher risk of progression compared to chip. Therapy-related seekers is linked with a higher incidence of TP53, CHECK2, and PPM1DI1 mutations, and a higher risk of progression to clinically overt MDS. Final, clonal monocytosis of indeterminate significance is defined, is defined by a persisting monocytosis of 0.5 10 to the 9, 10 to the 9 per liter with exclusion of criteria for diagnosis of MDS, MPN, and no reactive conditions. Careful monitoring of the clone size, additional clones, 
forma formation of additional clones and cytopenias of seekers and, and CMO US is mandatory to allow clonal specific interventions at an early stage before uh, clinical MDS. It's clear that MDS and its pre-stages is involved in a rapidly changing world with promising prospects for these patients. Thank you for your attention.